morning and welcome to Moments with Pastor Belinda. It may be afternoon for you, so good afternoon. But anyway, I just wanted to make a short video to let y'all know I love you and Jesus loves you. And we've left this morning, headed to Mexico, check on our camp there. Um, Pastor Hector, the director, uh, did a video with a gentleman and I will post the link to it in the uh, underneath the video and you can go take a look at what's happening there it's being affected because of all of the migration that's coming to the US um, you have people from all over South America and you have people from even Africa we have people there from Haiti we have people there from Russia and it is just a melting pot and if you can get there and minister you just minister to the nations but I will post that link so you guys can see what's happening down there. Um, also, I just want to tell you to use your testimony. Pull that thing out and whip the devil with it. Um, that, that is your weapon. That is what you can cut his head off with, just like David did. He took Goliath's own sword and he cut his head off. And whatever has happened to you in your life, you can take that and you can mount up and you can defeat the devil in other people's lives as well. When they hear what God's done for you, then it enables them to have faith and they can do the same thing with their life. You wanna take those things, sometimes we like to hide them. I know, especially testifying um, on things that's hurt you and things that have happened, abuse situations. It's really hard on you when you put those out. Like when, uh, we had lost our son and I was given testimony about that in Nicaragua and we were doing three services a day and as I would tell how my loss was and what God had done for me, restoration of just pulling me out of depression and when I would testify to schools, I mean we would have 1200 plus kids at every one of the different ones of public school down there. And as I would share what had happened to me, even though it broke my heart when I would tell it, and I would cry, I mean, you can't help it. Um, the Lord would just take that and he would turn it and we would see hundreds and hundreds of kids raise their hands to receive Jesus. Through our hurt, all of these kids have come to know the Lord. They have given their heart to him in salvation. And so if, if you can get yourself to where that you can start telling your testimony, start showing what Satan did to you and what God has turned around, you will be such a help to those in the world who were experiencing what you felt, what you had, what you went through, how you went through it, how did you survive, what did God do for you? And so I wanna encourage you, you, you know, you're, you're the official on your testimony. You are the one who knows what happened. You're the one who know, knows how hurt you were and how Satan just tried to destroy you and then you can compare it to what God has done for your life now. How are you now? How did God bring you through that? And just just share it. And you're made an overcomer in Revelations um, chapter 12, no, chapter 11, verse 12. It says you're made overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. So share it, share it, whether it's at work, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's in the mall, whether it's in the store, whatever. Share your testimony. And just give God the glory, what he has brought you through and what he is bringing you through and help others. This is Pastor Belinda. I'll share the link at the bottom to the, to the video on the camp in Mexico and uh, take a look at that. God bless you.